Welcome to In Bed with Luxury and welcome at sea at one of the most popular German cruise ships, the number five out of a fleet of six TUI cruise liners, all called Mein Schiff, My Ship. This is Charles Paddington. I am the founder of In Bed with Luxury and we have tested luxury hotels, luxury cruises, luxury trains and breathtaking destinations all over the world. Now, Mein Schiff 5 is not a luxury liner. It is a premium ship in the mid-segment between cheap and expensive. But it has a great design and a business class with extraordinary suites called Sky and Sea, Himmel und Meer. But let us check in now. Before we have a closer look at Mein Schiff 5, a few words about cruise ships in general. 150 years ago, people would have considered the idea of spending holidays at sea simply ridiculous. And 70 years ago, cruises were the folly of the rich and famous. So how come that in 2019, before the pandemic, 30 million people did a cruise? How did cruises become so affordable and so popular? How and where did it all start? In Italy, of course. In early June 1833, preceded by a fancy advertising campaign, nobles, authorities and royal princes from all over Europe boarded for the first cruise trip ever. The sailing ship Francesco I started in Naples, sailed to Taormina in Sicily, went to Malta in Greece and finally ended up in Constantinople, today's Istanbul. The trip was uh, expensive, really expensive. It lasted three months and it was restricted to aristocrats only. The first cruise trips for regular but still well-off passengers started in 1844 from Southampton, organized by the P&O Shipping Company. And the first vessel built exclusively for luxury cruising was the German ship Prinzessin Victoria Luise, designed by Albert Balin, general manager of the HAPAC. The ship was completed in 1900. In the first half of the 20th century, there were around 100 shipping companies bringing about 1 million passengers from one side of the Atlantic to the other per year. It was big business and real leisure cruises remained very expensive. They were a luxury product for the well-off, the lucky few, the rich, the famous. But with the advent of large passenger jet aircrafts in the 1960s. Intercontinental travelers switched from ships to planes and many shipping companies went broke. But then in the US a new idea was born. Forget the passenger transport, offer cruises for the masses, make them an affordable item. And here we are at Mein Schiff 5 cruise ship in the 21st century pleasure at sea for all and luxury for those in the business class of the ship. So come on board, follow me, Charles Paddington, and I show you around and we get an impression.
Welcome to Mr. Paddington's five top of the pops of the Mindshift Five. One of them, the Tui Bar. Let us be frank, all inclusive in reality often means no service and low quality of food and drinks. For instance, cheap substitutes for high quality drinks are very common. Not so on this ship. Almost 100 brands are part of the premium all inclusive concept. I loved the yummy free cocktails on board, shaken or stirred with famous brands. But of course, for some drinks, you have to pay extra. Yes, there are other cruise ships sailing the seven seas with spectacular pools too, like the two flow rider pools for surfers on the oasis of the seas, or a real magnificent infinity pool on the seven sea explorer. But for me, a real long classic pool tops it all, and the Mindshift 5 has the longest of all cruise ships pools, 25 meters. When there is rough sea, the pool can be split into two by a separating metal wall. Welcome to the beach. No, there is no beach on board the ship. Not yet. But there is Gosh. Gosh is the most popular fish restaurant on Sylt, the most fashionable German island in the North Sea. The company runs 40 outlets in the meantime all over Germany. And one of them is on board the Mindschiff 5. It's a favorite of mine for three reasons. First, I love seafood. Second, the dishes, like a grilled seafood platter you can see here, or, or a Matthias herring sandwich, they all really taste different than the other restaurants. And third, because you can get seafood specialties with a relatively small extra charge, like Canadian lobster for 4 euros per 100 gram, Kamchatka crab legs for less than 20 euros, and fresh oysters for 2 euros. And moreover, we love the El Fresco dining option. It's great to breathe the fresh air at sea and have a good fish. To me, the look, the feel and the design of a ship is very important. Is Mindshift 5 a design masterpiece? I think so. 
No, not from the outside of course. A ship with 1,267 cabins, 80% with balconies, can't look like a yacht. We have to be clear about that. But the public rooms inside are great. Responsible for it was the Boston-based US company Wilson Butler Architects, who brought elegance and style in travel to this 360 million euro project. Frankly speaking, if you want luxury on board the Mindshift 5, you have to spend some extra money and book one of the 78 suites. It makes such a difference. Of course, you will have more space, from twice as much to five times as much, dependent on the suite category compared to a standard room. In the Sky and Sea Suites you will even have your own private sun deck. And secondly, you get some goodies like a separate check-in, free Wi-Fi, a free minibar. But there is another extra. The privileged access to the so-called 
X Lounge, including a caviar station, one of my favorites, and a secluded sun deck. So let's have a look. Restaurant, ganz neu an Bord. Ähm, unsere Speisen sind auch typisch österreichisch, sprich wie Tafelspitz, ähm, Kaiserschmarrn, ne, Wiener Schnitzel Original, also ganz originales Rezept, ne, in ähm, Butterfett gebraten, original, halt ganz typisch halt. Ne? Was wird am meisten bestellt? Eigentlich hauptsächlich das Schnitzel und der Kaiserschmarrn, das ist so, was am meisten geht hier. Und der Vorteil ist halt, sie können hier reservieren, die Tische. Also sprich, sie müssen nicht äh, wie andere woanders in anderen Outlets mit äh, anderen Leuten an den Tischen sitzen. Also sprich, in Gesellschaft ist halt nicht jedermanns Sache. Aber sonst, tja, ein typisch österreichisches Bier, also mhm. sprich Otterkringer, Stiegel. Mhm. Super. Und Sie haben ja gerade gesagt, es ist eine spanisch-deutsche Mischung sozusagen. Genau. Was schmeckt Ihnen am besten? 
Ja, also ich kenne halt, bin aufgewachsen mit der deutschen Küche, ne? weil zu Hause gab es halt immer deutsches Essen, aber Spanisch ist halt hauptsächlich der Fisch, ne? der mich da so reizt. Mhm. Und also ich bin da ganz offen. Also aber ich meine hier, von der österreichischen Speisekarte, gibt es etwas? Hier, ja, wir haben Fällchenfilet auch. Ne? Mhm. Ähm, ja, das Schnitzel ist eigentlich schon so unser bestes. Your favorite. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Super. Können Sie mir kurz den Unterschied erklären zwischen den drei Atlantik-Restaurants? Es gibt Nummer zwei bei uns. Ah. Genau, also wir haben das Atlantik Classic, das sind wir jetzt gerade. Das ist so eine gut bürgerliche Öster äh, deutsche, deutsche Küche, ein bisschen ausgefallener. Mhm. Und oben ist das Mediterran, das Atlantik Mediterran, das ist eben so also ein bisschen italienisch, spanisch, türkisch angehört. Die Brasserie, die ist französisch? Die haben wir ähm, auf unserem Schiff nicht mehr, weil sie irgendwie nicht so ganz gut angekommen ist im Vergleich zu Atlantik und Mediterran. Ich verstehe. Mediterran. is an affordable ship. It's positioned between very expensive and very cheap, a premium 
all-inclusive concept. So, cabins are relatively small. There is no luxury furniture, not even a minibar. But the cabins are clean, bright, friendly, functional, and you get real value for not much money. And for luxury aficionados, there's always the business class. Sorry, the suite class. And by the way, if you go to our website, we will secretly tell you which suites and cabins are the best for you. I hope you like our little expedition to the Mindshift 5. If you have already been to other Tui Cruise ships of the Mindshift fleet, make a comment. Which one did you like best? Or what did you like and what did you dislike? And please, uh, on our In Bed with Luxury website, you'll find a lot more useful information. How about kids? How about sports? How about spa? Have a look. Hotels and places all over the world. Checked and tested by.